This growing knowledge of God falls more into knowing a personal God in much the same way as Jesus knew God. thing that I like the most about Wind Ridge, first the solitude. There's so few places that you can go to where you are really truly alone within the natural world with all the trees, flowers, the lake, the sounds of the birds. There are tons of birds there. You have this place almost entirely to yourself. You can go through your whole retreat and hardly see another person. And to be able to come to a place like this among a group of women whose passion is to provide a place like this. It's still, after all these years of being here, pretty overwhelming and humbling to me. Companions in the Infinite Love were born in 2003. Five of us. Three of us are former Palatine sisters, and two of us are former Dominicans. And we decided to form a new kind of religious community, one that wasn't just an active religious group, and one that wasn't just a contemplative group, but one that balanced, tried to balance both the contemplative and the active dimensions of, of religious life. Hey, I'm canning pears. We have one pear tree in the front yard, and they're ripe and ready to be canned. We feel in some way called to the hidden life, more like John the Baptist who had a decrease that God could increase. I, I like the rhythm of the canning because it's a quiet, solitary activity. You know, I said we try to balance the active and the solitude. Three of our sisters have to pay the bills, have to provide the money that pays our bills. And um, so they go out and, and do various ministries, two in education and one works at the post office. Two of us are retired and yet working here full time to keep the place up. We all share deeply the values that we express as our mission, which is earth care and spirit care. Solitude is a way of living that way. We see ourselves more as a post-Pentecost people. One of the things that we try very hard to offer our guests here at Windred Solitude is a lot of space for walking. We had a lot of comments about where people go to parks in the city and they don't feel safe. But here, they can go walking for long distances in the meadows, and uh, uh, it's just keeping the trees and the, and the flowers beautiful, uh, keeping the solitude trails cleared so that people can walk through there for solitude and uh, really enjoy the safety and the beauty. I was doing the fine work, the part that they can't get with the big mowers. A scripture passage for me, the one that comes to me is, where your treasure is, there will your heart be. Because uh, for us, for the five of us that live here, this really is our treasure. It's, um, it's our attempt to, to live a balanced life with solitude so that we can be closer to God. And um, of course, God is our treasure. And then that's also the treasure that we try to offer to other people, the, the quiet and the beauty of nature where they can come closer to God. It's September, and this is what I call putting the garden to bed. So I want to get all the plants out of the garden, all the tomato cages out. And I took all the fencing down, which keeps the deer and possum out. I'm taking what green tomatoes are left, and they'll come in the house, and they'll ripen inside the house. And then we'll till all the compost under, and then leave it alone. 
you are precious in my eyes, you are honored and I love you. That's what we as companions try to live, the idea that, that God loves us, that we're a recipient of God's love. And we try to pass that on to our guests when they come too, so that, that we, you can just feel it when you walk onto the property, that, that it's God's love here. Post-Pentecost people and the spirit is love. Jesus said, uh, I'm going to leave you, but I will send you the Spirit. And so that's pretty much uh, kind of in capsule form. What we try to offer people when they come here is just a chance to stop their fast pace, to be alone with God, surrounded by God's creation, and to just be quiet and still and let the Spirit come to them. Thank you.